Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is my guide for Ark Survival Evolved and their single player settings in 2021. This guide accompanies my complete series that we've been doing on the channel and we're currently on Aberration. But we're going to be going over all of the settings that you need to make a balanced single player game. For those of you who are looking for a guide on setting up a server, then I do have another guide and I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner if you're interested in setting up a server. So we'll just jump straight into the settings. I'm just going to reset everything at default and we'll go over these settings one at a time so you can follow along yourselves. Difficulty offsets the first thing that we're going to change and we're going to bring that up to 1.0. This combined with max level settings will ensure we get level 150 dinos on the island map. I'm going to go into more detail about that soon. Taming speed, I'm going to take that up to 0.60. And the XP multiplier, we're going to leave that at 1.0 now. Wildcard recently doubled the amount of XP you get, so just leaving it at default should be fine. The levels come across really quick. They've also doubled the amount that we harvest as well, but I'm going to take this up to 2.0. We don't take it up any more higher than that, otherwise you'll be getting encumbered just from chopping down perhaps the one tree. But 2.0 seems to be a very reasonable amount. As we carry on coming down here, uh, we're going to change enable crosshair now i personally have this switched off because there's many attachments in the game that do give us a crosshair we can get a scope on attachments and various different attachments so i personally have it switched off but that is down to your choice show player map location it does make things a little bit easier to know where you are on the map so i have that one switched on now this one here we do need to have maximum level difficulty enabled this does say that it's going to ensure we get level 150 dinos on all maps, but it doesn't. So more about that later. But if you're going to be playing the island map or anything like Ragnarok or any of the free DLC maps, then this will be all you need to do. Uh, we use Corpse Locator. I like to have that one switched on and also allow unlimited respecs. Again, we're going to be playing by ourselves. so. Being able to respec and use the Rockwell Mind Wipe Tonic as many times as we need is an advantage. Moving on into the advanced menu and some of the more important settings that we're going to need to change here. First off, I do like to put Allow Cave Building on. Not that I do much building in the way of caves, but it is a solo run and I like to be able to put a crate down. And perhaps if you like to do some of the fishing as well, you need to put a chair down in the caves. I put prevent diseases on. This doesn't stop the onyx spreading rabies, but it does switch some of the annoying mechanics off that I find. Again, that one's a personal preference, but I have that one switched off. Next, we need to go into the world settings and perhaps some of the important things to make sure you get a balanced prey through, especially when it comes to the breeding mechanics in the game. First off, we need to do baby mature speed and we're going to change this to 0.815. And this, with the cuddle baby cuddle multiplier, we need to change that to 0.2. Now this will ensure that we can get a full imprint on all of our dinos. Generally takes about 12 minutes between, say, a Rex imprint and we will be able to get a full imprint. I take hatch speed up to 6.0 and baby, multi, baby mating interval, we take that to 0.01. That ensures that we can start breeding pretty much immediately. It's usually a three minute cool down. But again, this is a single player setting and we can't continue when the game's off. So things like this do need to be changed for single players and again when it comes to the crops we take that both up to 6.0 it's not like we can go away switch the game off and come back the next day to find that we've got full crops so remember Ark was never really intended to be a single player game it's always been a multiplayer game and that's it. Now, if you are struggling difficulty level wise, this is where I would make some changes. 
If you're finding the game far too difficult, then by all means take health and stamina up to 2.0 and play around with them player settings instead. But stick with it. Like I say, Ark is quite hard when you get started as a fresh spawn, but things do get easier. Allow custom recipes is now switched on by default, so we leave that there if you'd like to do your custom recipes. For those of you wanting to tame all of the dinos, then if you want to allow dino raid feeding, that means that you can tame and keep the titanosaur. Supply loot crate and fishing loot crate quality is at 5.0 and we're going to leave that there by default. Lastly, the increased platform structure limit. This will just ensure that if we're building on rafts or again, if we're doing any of the dyno builds that have platform saddles, we can put more structures on the saddles. So this goes for the Bronto and of course the raft if you want to increase the limits on the raft. So there you have it. There are all the settings you need for a great balanced single player experience whether you're on PC or console. Unfortunately if you're going to be playing on Scorched Earth, Aberration or Extinction the max level difficulty settings will not work. Now I do have a fix for this if you're on PC but there's not much I can do to help you out if you're on consoles. You're just going to have to make do with the max level dinos being at 120 and some odd numbers. Now for some reason the allow max level dinos and the difficulty offset of 1.0 will not work on Scorched Earth, Aberration or Extinction. So we're just going to have to put an override into the configuration file. So I will quickly show you how to do that. Now I'm going to show you as I've got this on Steam, but if you're on Epic Games, you're just going to need to locate this same folder and just type this override in just as I do here. So we've just come into our Steam files here in our library, Steam apps. Then we go to common, arc, shooter game. Next, we want to go down to saved, then into config, windows, no editor, and our game user settings. Once you're on this menu, you need to scroll all the way down to server settings. We just need to type an override in. I'm going to leave a pinned comment so you can just copy and paste this in if you need to do this. And as you can see, we're on server settings and where we put difficulty offset of 1.0, as you can see, it's just here, difficulty offset. We're going to put one extra line of code in and we need to put override difficulty at 5.0. This will ensure that you get max level dinos across all maps and uh, once we come out of this and save it, it will all be golden. But unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it until Wildcard address this issue with the max level settings. But when we come out, we'll just hit save and there we go. Now, assuming that you followed all of these tips and you've made all of these changes, of course, the existing dinosaurs on the map with the odd numbers will still exist. So you're going to need to use the command destroy wild dinos and then they will start spawning in with either a five or a zero after their numbers. So it's really simple. All you need to do if you are on PC is hit tab and type the command destroy wild dinos. And as you can see here, we haven't lost any of our own tames. It's just got rid of the wild dinos. Now everything will start spawning in with either a five or a zero after it, and we will get max levels of 150. But that's all my tips on single player settings. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.